All right, I know you've all missed geometry so, so much, and you're excited to start Chapter 11 here. Um, good news is Chapter 11 will start out pretty easy. Um, it's on areas of triangles, parallelograms, things that you've done before. Um, obviously, it'd be a little more challenging now, um, you know, adding in some of the stuff we've been learning throughout the year. So hope you're all doing well at home there and uh, not catching the coronavirus. Uh, but this is what we're doing in the meantime. So uh, we'll get started today. Um, so again, we're doing area of parallelograms and triangles. So first theorem says 11, 1, 11, 2, um, because 11, 1 is, uh, excuse me, area of rectangles, and theorem 11, 2 is area of squares. Well, they're both parallelograms, so we're just going to love them together. Uh, base times height, pretty simple. Uh, notice that the base and the height need to make a 90 degree angle. Area of a triangle, um, again, you should already know this, but if you don't, uh, it's one half the base times the height. And again, base and height need to be perpendicular. You can also think of it as base times height divided by 2. Because uh, dividing by 2, we know, is the same thing as multiplying uh, by a half. Make sure you're copying these in your composition book, by the way, because you'll want them in there for the final, if we ever come back to school. All right, so here we got to find the area of the triangle. So triangle is, let me switch to my pen here, area equals one half, base times height. So we're going to end up doing one half of our base, which is 11. I apologize for my handwriting. I'll get used to this Moby thing eventually. So 1 half times 11 times 10. So we get 110. Half of 110 is 55 and units squared because we're doing area. All right, next, area of rectangle. So that is just base times height. So the problem is we don't know what our base is. So um, we do have a right angle, which means we can use Pythagorean theorem. So skip on over here. 4 squared plus, call it B, since it's our base, equals 6 squared. So B squared, if we do 36 minus 16 is going to be 20, which if you do your factor tree, 5, 4, 2, and 2. So it would be 2 root 5 here. Which means, when you go back to do our area, uh, base is 2 root 5 times the height, which is 4. So we would get a total of 8 root 5 and units squared. So simple area problems there. Let's see. Let's see if it's better if I make this thinner. All right. So now we want to find x. We know what the area is. So first we have to figure out what kind of figure we have. It's a parallelogram. So area equals base times height. So 510 is going to equal the base, which is 30, times the height. So then we divide by 30. And I should probably be able to do that in my head, but just to be safe. Type it into my calculator here. And I get 17. And we're finding the height. So it's going to be 17 centimeters. Not squared because it's not the area, it's just the height. All right, next we have the triangle. So remember, area is 1 half the base times the height. So we would have 1 half our base, which is 15. And then our height is. X, our area is 67.5. T rid of the half, we can multiply both sides by 2. So let's see, 67.5, we want 35, 15x. And so X is going to equal 9 feet. So write out your formulas, especially when you do triangles, because there's a little more to it. Um, I will be checking for work like I normally do on your assignments. There we go. All right, now I want to find the area of the whole entire bold figure. So what we have is a parallelogram attached to a triangle. So we've got to find both areas. 
and then we're going to add them together. So if we start with our parallelogram, base is 8, and our height is 6.5. So 8 times 6.5 is going to be 52. So that's this chunk. And then we need the triangle. So let's just color coordinate here. So we one half its base, which if we look here, well, we got the total length of 12. We know opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So from here to here is 8, which means this would be 4. So 1 half of 4. And then the height, again, is 6.5. So all that together is going to equal 13. So for the whole thing, we take 13 plus 52. And we're going to get 65 centimeters squared on that one. So when you have multiple figures, you find each one and you add them up. Now here we want to find the shaded region. So we're not going to be actually adding areas. We're going to be finding the area of the whole entire thing and then subtracting out this non-shaded portion. So the whole figure, well, it's 6 by 8. So the whole thing is going to give us 48. This section here, well, that's a parallelogram. So we know it's got a height of 3. We need the base. Well, it's 8 across here. That's 3. So this distance from here to here would be 5. And then 3 times 5 would be 15. So then to get our answer, we take 48 minus 15. And we're going to get 33 inches squared. So nothing too complicated. Again, this first section especially is a lot of review. All right, now we're going to make it a little more difficult. Here we have the area of a triangle. It says the height is 3 times the base. Find the height, or the base and the height of the triangle. All right, so let's start with our area formula of a triangle, which we know as 1 half base times the height. Well, we know the area is 27. And if we want, we can draw a little picture here. So it's not drawn to scale necessarily or anything. Ooh, that's an ugly triangle. All right, so we got uh, the height is 3 times the base. So, yeah, it's definitely not drawn to scale. Um, so let's just call this, well, we'll call it the height to keep it easy. We call this the base. So the base we'll call B. The height is 3 times the base, so we'll call the height 3B. So now we plug it back in. So 1 half of the base, which we called B, and the height we're going to use 3B. So times 3B, because obviously you can't have a B and an H in there, you wouldn't be able to solve it. So now let's try to finish the problem here. We can get rid of the half by multiplying by 2. So 54 equals b times 3b. Okay, common mistake is 4b. Well, it's not b plus 3b, it's times. So we end up with 3b squared. And then we divide both sides by 3. So that would give us 18 equals b squared. And then we got to square root it, right? So uh, if we want the exact answer, we make our factor tree. So b equals 3 root 2. And we are in inches. The height is 3 times that. So the height, take that times 3, you would get 9 square root 2 inches. Make sure as you're going through this assignment, uh, you're showing some work on some of these. I mean, your basic base times height, you don't need work there. But anytime it's a little more in-depth than that, you should show work. Um, also, make sure you include units. A couple last announcements. Um, so this assignment is technically your you know, Monday, the uh, 30th assignment. I'm still taking uh, the last homework check, which was on 10-4 to 10-6, um, up until the end of uh, tomorrow. Uh, which is 
well, it'll be Tuesday probably if you're watching this on Monday. Um, but all your assignments are due at the end of the day on the 31st of March. So if you don't have 10-4 to 10-6 sent to me by then, uh, you'll get a zero. You won't be able to make it up. Uh, also, if you haven't yet taken your test, uh, you need to do that. That also needs to be done by uh, tomorrow. Uh, once everyone's taken it, uh, we can maybe have an opportunity of doing a video chat, going over some missed problems uh, and things like that. So um, one final thing as far as taking your tests. Um, obviously, you're at home. I can't watch to see if you're looking at other people's you know, screens, uh, but it is easy to click on questions. I can see who has the same answers. I can see what time you submitted it. So if it's submitted at the same time, I can see that. Um, so there are a lot of ways I can tell if there's maybe some cheating going on. Uh, so far, everything I've gone through doesn't look too bad. Uh, just make sure you're being you're being honest. I mean, you already have the computer as a tool to go uh, try to look up things you may need to help with. You don't need to be uh, copying off somebody else because that'll show up on the final um, at the end of the year. So hope everyone's doing okay. I'll be making videos like this um, until you get to come back to class. So um, sit tight and, uh, oh, I don't want you to forget. There's an assignment. Uh, there it is. So 3 through 8, 12 through 20, 22 to 27, 30, and 48 to 50. Um, so be working on these assignments like you normally would. I would say just get it done now while it's fresh in your head um, so you can keep up with, with everything. So. Uh, again, hope everyone's doing well at home, and I'll see you tomorrow.